Hi YouTube, it's Bajan Spice 1978 aka Cheryl coming at you with another video. I know, I know, two in one day. Mm, pretty good, huh? Um, anyhow, I was watching a video today by Amy i I'll put her video uh, channel link down below here. Um, she does really great makeup um, tutorials as well as excellent product reviews. Um, I, I was watching her video today and she had a great idea which she watched from another video which is a tag about um, naughty or nice products of 2010. Um, so because it's naughty or nice for the holiday season, um, I thought it was a great idea to do. She did it more towards beauty products, but I wanted to do it towards nail care products since this is a nail art channel. Um, so I have brought out uh, a few products that I called naughty. She suggested doing five products of both. I have about five products that I didn't like and about maybe six or seven products that I do like um, that I wanted to share with you. So my naughty and my nice. And I'm going to ask that everyone watching this video does the same tag if they can. And I hope to do favorite nail polishes um, for 2010 that I've worn a lot this year. Um, I hope to record that shortly, um, if not today, but tomorrow, because it's late and I have no sunlight. And as you can see, I'm being blinded out or blocked out by the lights over here in the corner. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get started with my naughty products of 2010. So, I'm going to start off with, this is uh, acrylic powders, it's Super Nail Acrylic Powders. I did mention this before in a previous video that I didn't really care too much for these products. I did receive this in my kit when I first went to learn how to do the nail arts um, in the summer. Well, it was actually from 2009 when I learned how to do it, but after... Um, with this I found on wearing it I didn't like this acrylic nail product that good so as you guys know I love NSI and that's what I've been using NSI acrylics and I will continue to buy NSI I have bought a few others I haven't really tried them out as much as I have um, the NSI but as I try those out I'll get let you guys know about those products but super nail acrylic it's very um, it goes on very thick. It's very hard to for me to control compared to NSI. And it, when you wear it, it feels really tight and restrictive on your fingers. Like you feel like you can feel the nails on your hands. Whereas NSI, they feel very light. You don't really feel it. They they're easier to work with. You have a little bit more time to work with it. I find, and I love the NSI. So super nail naughty product for 2010. Another nail uh, another product I bought actually fairly recently and I did show this in a recent haul was this that I got from Shoppers Drug Mart for I think $10 and I thought it was a great buy. The soap portion I like. It's no problem. It sets up very well and it's very nice. The container is great. It's the cream I don't like. I find the cream not very moisturizing. I find it very watery like. It smells really nice but I find that you put it on and your hands still feel really dry after especially when you've done a manicure and you're soaking your hands in the water and then you go and you put this cream on. I find that my, especially being a darker skin woman of color, I find that my skin looks very ashy after using this cream so I don't like the cream. The soap I don't mind. I like the soap. The cream not so much. So body product 2010. Another product which some of you might be shocked that I don't like is the CND Super Shiny Top Coat. Um, I don't like it. It's not as shiny as what you'll see my favorite top coat and many of you probably know about it but not as shiny as the other one. It's okay but it can't be my favorite one which you'll see in my nice products. CND, great company, great products but I just don't like this uh, top coat. Another naughty product is uh, this Nailene fix and Nail Nail Repair Glue. Now I originally bought this and thought it was going to be great. I tried it out a couple times. Sorry guys, my hair keeps going in my mouth. Um, I've tried this and bought it a couple, uh, tried it out a couple times and liked it at first. But I went to use it again and. I can't open it. It's glued shut solid. So while it was an okay product and it did hold my nails when I broke them, 
I used it like two times, two or three times, and I can't get the thing open again. So waste of money, don't like. And lastly, or these are, um, well there's actually two more. So one product I bought is Sesh Feet Ultra V uh, UV Activated Top Coat. Now I bought this because I thought it would be a great idea to get the longer lasting nail polish on your nails. Um, it is a top coat that you activate and you cure under a UV light for, it says three minutes. It's supposed to dry your nail polish underneath very quickly as well as the top coat. And it's supposed to be long wearing and give you high gloss. While I love the other Sashimi, some of the other Sashimi products, I do not like this. Why? It turns your nail polish color. So for example, say you put on a really hot pink, this is the bottle by the way, if you put on a really beautiful hot pink nail polish, you put this on, you put it into cure, you leave it in for three minutes. First of all, it doesn't cure in three minutes. It's still tacky and wet and yucky um, and mushy and your nail polish isn't dry. And then it leaves like blue discolorations in your nail polish, like it discolors the nail polish. So this is a big waste of money. I think, I can't remember, but I think I paid maybe $15 Canadian for this, plus taxes. Big waste of money. I used it twice, hoping and praying that it, would, it was just maybe incorrect or incorrect user error. No. Horrible product. Don't recommend it. Don't buy it. The other product that I don't like also happens to be by Seshmi is the um, Rebuild perfect nail they have a system of three honestly I thought I liked it sorry guys my phone keeps going off I thought I liked it but after a while of using it and then using it on my mom what I did notice and I realized it was probably this product was your nails they start to peel um, it went on nice it held my nail polish pretty nice my nails felt a little firm firmer because as I said I have kind of weak nails but my nails I think were being dried out by this and they were peeling and my mom when I use it it was peeling her nails so I stopped using it also once again another expensive product okay so now that my naughty products are done I'm gonna go on to my nice products of 2010 so I have a bit more um, than the previous ones but I'm gonna start off with these two so these are the Sally Hansen one is the triple strong advanced gel nail fortifier and this one is the diamond strength instant nail hardener so this bottle you probably can't tell it's completely empty I love 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 this I've been using it for the last month and a half or so and as I said the bottle is empty there's nothing left I love it my nails have actually strengthened as a result of this I've run out I haven't had an opportunity to buy some more, but in the meantime, I had purchased the Diamond Strength one, and I love this too. I used it for the first time, yeah, for the first time, and my nails are strong. Like, I know they're short, guys, but they're strong. My nails have never been this strong. So after using this for a month and a half, and using this now for the last time, my nails, I'm loving the strength of my nails. I'm staple products, guys, staple, staple, staple in your uh, nail. Another product that I like, and is also, this is the second bottle, the first bottle I finished, is vitamin E oil. I've watched Love For Nails, Love For Nails has some of the most gorgeous nails I've seen on YouTube ever, and her nail art design is beautiful. I'll put her nail link below as well, but most of you guys probably know about her. Amazing, amazing, amazing. She did a video a little while ago about how she cut off her nails and then she showed, I think it was over two weeks, how long her nails grew. And what she did was she put on her strengthener and she used vitamin E oil twice a day on her nails. This really cures your cuticles. As you guys know, I'm a nursing student, soon to be a nurse. Um, we, our hands are in water and hand sanitizer all day long for 12 hour shifts. And your cuticles get extremely dry. Once I started using this, my, my cuticles healed very well and my nails started to grow a bit more. I did run out and I recently bought this and I have to get back on the regimen of using it again, but ladies, gentlemen, use the vitamin E oil. It is great for growth of your nails and to moisturize your cuticles. And if you have dry cuticles, your nails aren't going to grow, right? So 
I highly recommend this in your daily or your nail care growth regimen. Another great product that I love is by CND, and you guys might have heard about this one, but this is the CND Sticky Anchoring Base Coat. Love it. My gosh, this is the answer to long nail care, or long nail art or nail polish wear. I bought this, um, as you can see, I've used quite a bit, a little while ago, I think. I can't remember. I bought it a little while ago. And since I've been using it, and as you guys, as I just mentioned, I put my hands in water a lot more frequently than most people, but my nails polish last at least four days using this before I get a day or two and then I start chipping. But three or four days I work, um, I get it. Now that I'm not in the hospital and I, um, I'm not washing my hands as frequently, I've had this nail on, on since Sunday. So it's Thursday, so four days, but it's still going strong. No chipping, nothing like that. And that's with the CD um, sticky base coat. Love it. Another product that I bought, and I just recently showed this in a nail art haul, is a nail rescue. I did do a tutorial on this. I will have it um, posted shortly. Um, this is excellent. Um, if you have a nail that's not broken right the way through, and you want to save that nail till it grows out, put this on. It's I've, in fact, I still have it on this finger, but um, it it's amazing. It actually um, keeps your nail nice and strong, and your nail is not going to break. There is a, a little downfall about it, and I will go into more detail about it in the um, the uh, product review tutorial that I have. Um, the only thing that I the only couple things that I find is it's not clear, so when you put it on, you like you do need to wear a nail polish color on it. Otherwise, you're gonna your nail's gonna look cloudy, and you're gonna know that something's on your nail. So that's one thing I don't like, and also that um, I found that when I took off the nail polish that I had on before, and then I put on a new nail polish, then um, I don't know if it's you have to reapply this because uh, I didn't reapply it and I didn't put on a new nail polish right away, but the it had weakened and it started to crack. Um, so I don't know if you need to reapply it after each or when you're going to change your nail polish color again until the nail goes out. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll go into more detail about that in the tutorial, but I love this. I think this is great. And if you break a nail or start to break a nail, it starts to rip halfway down, a great way to save your nail. These products, um, I haven't posted the video yet, but it's in the third part of my nail art haul, and it's the CND um, shellac nail polishes. I really like this. Um, it's very easy to work with. Um, I believe, oh, what's her YouTube name? I can't remember her YouTube name off by heart, but I'll put it below. She recently did a tutorial on this. This has been sold out everywhere. It's almost impossible to get. The only color I was able to get was the 2D Fruity. Um, but I like this product, but I'll have it also a uh, product review on this as well. It dries really quickly, goes on like nail polish. The color is very vibrant. vibrant. The top coat is very, very shiny. It, love it. The only downfall is I found it only lasted me one week versus two weeks, but maybe it was just user error. So, uh, tutorial to come up with this soon. And lastly is my ultimate favorite ever top coat, and I'm sure most of you guys know about it, is the Sesh Feet top coat. What can I say guys, you know this dries so quickly. You can put on your nail polish and by the time you finish one hand and go on to the next, this hand is like dry. So amazing top coat and it's super 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 shiny. I find that when I do nail art, even when I do it with like the acrylic paint for example or even just uh, the striper pens, uh, striper polishes, I don't have to wait till they're completely dry. I put this on it doesn't smudge. Um, the Conad stamping, a lot of top coats smudge the stamping art but with Sesh Feet doesn't smudge. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. I bought the big bottle to refill these bottles. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. If you guys don't know about it, you need to add it to your uh, nail care or your uh, nail art supplies. This is the best top coat that I've seen so far. If anybody knows of any better, let me know. But so far, Sashvik is my love. 
So that is the end of my video, guys. That's all my favorite uh, video, uh, favorite products and dislikes for 2010. If you have favorites or dislikes for 2010 and care to do this tag, I tag all of you. Tag every single one of my subscribers and anyone who is watching this video. If you don't uh, do videos, you can post a comment below as to what your naughty or nice products are for 2010. And even if it goes past the new year, because I know it's at the very end of the year, you can still comment on this video or, or post a video response or how you wish to do it. But I tag every one of you. Happy holidays once again, everyone. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon in my next videos. Bye, y'all.